Hi, this is Tom. And in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to be evaluating some logarithms and see how this works. And we're going to begin with a problem like this. It's going to it reads evaluate 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 the log in base 5 of 625. Now, before we continue, there there is a level of comfort that needs to be developed here because I could have written this also as um, evaluate. I could have, I'm going to just put a comma because these are going to all be the same thing. Just, ex, just written a little differently. It may have been the log base 5 of 625 equals x. You may have seen the problem written that way. Um, and really, this is no different than when you were first learned your arithmetic and the teacher wrote 3 plus 2, and right away you knew to write equals 5. The problem may have been written as 3 plus 2 equals x, and then you would say, well, then x is 5. So this that's what's going on here. So normally you'll see evaluate log base 5 of 625, and you if you you may need to put the equals some letter, and usually we use x. So let's begin. If I have the log base 5 of 625, my first step is I'm going to write this as log base 5 of 625 equals x. And here's why. Because I know that if this logarithmic function is true, well then using what we just learned up above, I also know there's an exponential function that's true as well. And in this case, the pattern and the pattern is we write the base is 5, so we write a 5. And what it equals is always our exponent. There's our base. And then what we're taking the log of now is what the exponential equation is equal to. And if you write it this way, you may be familiar. We actually looked at a problem like this uh, not too long ago. Because think about this. If I take 5 and raise it to the first power, I get 5. If I take 5 and I square it, then let's see. That's 25. If I take 5 and I cube it, that's 125, and there it is. The next one is if we take 5 to the fourth power, well then, that is 625. And you can always verify that. See, we could go to our calculator here and we could say 5 raised to the fourth power and see, there it is. And so you can see that in fact it does work. So let's come back here and we can very simply say that x equals 4. And so what we've done is we've evaluated the log by writing it in its exponential form and then realizing that, oh, 5 to the fourth is 625. And so this is a, an approach to solving logs when the base, when the number that we're going after, we actually can write in some base or some base that's easy to figure. Now let's try Let's try another one. Well, here's a clever one. How about this? And I'm going to write a little differently just so we get used to this. I'm going to write simplify. Simplify log in base 2 of the square root of 8. Whoa. Okay, let's try this. Again, I'm going to start with the same approach. I'm going to write log base 2 of the square root of 8, and I'm going to set it to some number, we'll call it, or some letter x. So now, we know that, that if this logarithmic function is true, then the corresponding exponential function is the base, which is 2, the equals becomes our exponent, and what we're taking the log of is what the exponential function has to equal. Now, this one's kind of sneaky, but I think we can do this because, because I know that 8 is 2 cubed. So let's do that. So now I at least have the same bases going on. So now I have the 
square root of 2 cubed. Now you may jump to simplifying this, but now, now is when you think, think about um, fractional exponents. What's another way to write the square root of something? Well, remember there's an implied 2 right there on the index. So this is the same as saying 2 to the x has to equal 2 to the 3 halves. And there it is. Since the bases match, the exponents have to be equal. We can write that. That's a, that's a good reminder. Since bases match, oops, math, match, match, exponents, exponents must be equal. So now we can very simply write this as x equals 3 halves. And that is how we can solve some types of logarithmic equations. Thanks for watching.